most people think pop music is pretty simple. It's just a catchy beat over some benign words that have been auto-tuned, right? Well, there are many pop songs out there that have a deeper layer that most people don't know about. Let's see if you can guess the hidden meaning in these 10 songs. Do you want to be a DIY expert? Check out our friends at Crafty Hackers. They have the best hacks, crafts, and everything DIY. Watch their videos for the best household tricks, DIY decor, and fun recipes. If you love making crafts with your friends or just trying new things, they have everything you're looking for. Be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on any awesome hacks and crafts. Now, let's get started. Havana, Camila Cabello. Havana is the hit single by Camila Cabello, and it's a lot more than just a song with an awesome beat. As a Cuban-American performer, immigration is an issue that is very near and dear to Cabello's heart. She was born in Havana, Cuba, and spent her younger years moving between Cuba and Mexico before finally settling into the United States. If you have watched the video for Havana, and if not, you definitely should, you probably notice that at the end, text appears reading, This is dedicated to the Dreamers. If you wondered who the Dreamers are, we can help you out. Dreamers refers to people who benefited from the Deferred Action for Childhood Arrivals, which was a policy implemented by former President Barack Obama. Essentially, it affects people who entered the United States as a minor illegally, or entered legally and illegally overstay their visas. If they qualified, they can receive a deferred action for deportation and be eligible for a work permit. Havana is a way for Cabello to express affection for her Cuban heritage and even muse about a former flame that she left behind. At the Grammys, Cabello spoke out about the Dreamers and noted that she believes that it is an issue worth fighting for. Delicate Taylor Swift We hope that you're sitting down for this shocking revelation. Taylor Swift's song, Delicate, is about a relationship. We know that must have been very shocking. While most of her relationships play out in a very public way, thanks to the media seeking to appease rabid fans, Delicate talks about the tender beginning stages of new love. We all know what it's like to fall in love and try to hide your crazy from your partner to avoid scaring them away. And famous people have to deal with their fear as well. The song details a secret rendezvous with a new and secretive love interest that she's desperate to keep a secret. So naturally, this has everyone wondering who she could be singing about. Many have come to the conclusion that she's singing about British actor Joe Alwyn, with whom Swift had recently been linked romantically. Although Swift has been public about her past romances, she's been quite secretive about this one. Well, you know, except for the whole just wrote a hit song about him thing. We guess she really can't help herself when it comes to writing songs based on her romantic relationships. But she's recently been keeping a low profile, so only time will tell if she's really going to commit to her newly self-enforced seclusion. Wolves' Selena Gomez Wolves by Selena Gomez is a simple, single-word title with a much deeper meaning. Just before she dropped the new track, she posted the following on social media. I've been running through the jungle, I've been crying with the wolves. While some just took this as a simple lyrical teaser, many of her fans decided to look deeper into her words. If you're familiar with the Latin language or biology, you might know that the scientific name for wolves is canine lupus. And if you're a biologist, Latin language lover, and a Selena Gomez fan, you might know that the singer has struggled with various health-related problems over the years, including a battle with lupus. In fact, she even had to undergo a kidney transplant as a result of her health struggles. Wolves is the first song she's released since her recovery, leading more weight to this interpretation of its meaning. In the song, Gomez mentions blue eyes, in combination with a lot of other blue imagery, but none of her recent romantic partners have had blue eyes. Instead, fans believe that this song is much more than simply romance. Instead of alluding to a man, Gomez is speaking in metaphors about her life and her struggles with her health issues. Ruin the Friendship Demi Lovato When we learned the name of Demi Lovato's song Ruin the Friendship, we were instantly intrigued. Would we hear a ballad detailing a friendship crashing and burning? Sordid details of a friendship gone horribly wrong? But it turns out that Lovato was singing about a very different type of way to ruin a friendship. 
The song talks about a friend wanting to ruin a friendship by crossing the line from platonic into a steamy hookup. So, of course, we now wanted to know just who Lovato was talking about ruining her friendship with in favor of romance. Lovato seemed to feel like the answer to that was obvious and even noted in an interview that she was nervous about putting such a vulnerable song out there for everyone to listen to. However, she noted that she was so inspired by her feelings, she felt the song simply had to be written. Many people believe that her song is about her longtime friendship with Nick Jonas. For years, it seems like these two have been the Ross and Rachel of their friend ground, with fans wondering just when the two would cross the line. Many people speculate that Lovato has long harbored feelings for Jonas, but has been afraid of ruining the friendship. Rainbow Kesha For five long years, fans eagerly awaited new music from Kesha. During this time, she went through a lot of issues, most of which played out in the public eye. These included treatment for an eating disorder and allegations of abuse from her producer, Dr. Luke. So when she finally released a new album, it wasn't surprising that her sound was totally different from what fans were used to. Kesha went from singing songs about drinking hookups and partying to releasing some surprisingly deep and thought-provoking songs. Kesha confessed that when she was working on her song Rainbow, she was in rehab, where she had to beg administrators to allow her to access instruments. The journey of self-care was tumultuous and Kesha confessed that Rainbow was the turning point during her recovery. Lyrics such as, but I'm falling right back in love with being alive, dreaming in light, 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 seemed to reinforce the positive and hopeful message. It's about her learning to be kind to herself and exist as a reminder that she can make it through anything. It's her hope that her listeners will understand the message of hope and self-love that helped Kesha so much during a difficult time. She's not him, Miley Cyrus. To many people, the evolution of Miley Cyrus from sweet, innocent Hannah Montana to wrecking ball rider has been a wild and confusing journey. But along the way, Miley has become an outspoken advocate for gay rights. It's even impacted her music, especially in the song She's Not Him. Lack of bisexual visibility is an issue in the gay community, so this song is actually a bigger deal than you might think at first. Although we finally have some examples of gay characters in the media who aren't just token characters, genuine and well-developed bi characters are still a rarity. Miley's song is about being in a relationship with a woman, but dreaming about being with a man. Many people believe that this song is about her former relationship with model Stella Maxwell. They theorize that the man Miley was wistful for was Liam Hemsworth, with whom Miley has had an on-again, off-again relationship for years. Since coming out as pansexual, Miley has released songs about being with a woman, including Bang Me Box. But She's Not Him is the first song where she talks about being attracted to both men and women, which is an important distinction, especially for her bi fans. Even a big star like Miley admits that she struggled with her own sexuality for much of her life. It's important to acknowledge that just because she and Liam Hemsworth ended up back together, it doesn't negate Miley's relationship with a woman. Kiwi Harry Styles Although we were clamoring for new music from Harry Styles, we found pretty much everything about Kiwi confusing, at least at first. The song is much darker and more mature than his previous offerings. In the song, Styles sings about a woman who worked her way through a cheap pack of cigarettes and later claims to be pregnant with his baby. It isn't exactly the sort of fun, lighthearted music that we would have expected, but a shift in musical stylings isn't totally unheard of. And then he released the video. It was so highly anticipated but left fans baffled about what on earth it was supposed to mean and how it related to the song. But if the Kiwi video left you reeling, we'll help you break it down. If you try to match up the video with the exact lyrics, it can get confusing. But if you look at it as a jaunt into a fantasy hedonistic world, then we could see how it's appealing when paired with the more serious situation presented in the lyrics. It seems like a child's fantasy day, but in reality, it's a fantasy very specific to Styles. During his X Factor audition, Styles mentioned that he once worked for a bakery. And followers of his social media have noticed his obsession with baked goods. Being able to indulge in his cupcake obsession, returning to a state of childlike wonder, and being able to dress up in incredible suits? That all sounds like a dream come true for Styles. So maybe the Kiwi video isn't as random as we first thought. Chain to the Rhythm, Katy Perry Sure, on the surface, Chain to the Rhythm by Katy Perry is a super catchy pop song, but it's a lot more than that. 
saying that this song is a little bit political is a huge understatement. Perry brags about being aware of various political issues and chastises fans for being happily numb and tone deaf about what is going on in the world around them. Don't let the catchy beat distract you from the lyrics. Of course, Perry is no stranger to politics, and she was a very visible musical artist in support of former presidential hopeful Hillary Clinton. But compared to her other songs about wild Friday nights and kissing girls, many people were surprised by the political message in this song. Skip Marley, the grandson of famous musician Bob Marley, also lends his talent to this song. He sings that time is ticking for the empire, which seems to be unapologetically calling for people to wake up and rebel. And then to further drive the point home, we have the video for Change of the Rhythm featuring the theme park called Oblivia. We see a small nod to the dystopian novel 1984, and what seems to be a commentary about social media and the lack of political awareness in society. Walk on Water Eminem The hidden meaning behind Walk on Water by Eminem not only gives us a new perspective on the song, but also on the songwriting process. When he first started creating music, Eminem says that he felt like he had a blank canvas in front of him and was free to add whatever he wanted. But later, when he was coming out with his second album, he had to consider what he had already created. So as time went on and he created more content, that all had to be taken into consideration as he continued. Add to that the pressure to make each new venture your best, and you can see how that might create a stressful situation for an artist. In the song, Eminem questions why the expectations are so high and asks if this is the bar he set for himself. Sure, having a dedicated fan base is great and something many performers are envious of, but it also creates a lot of pressure on a performer who doesn't want to let them down. It just goes to show that even if you're as big a name as Eminem, you're still not immune to feeling insecure and doubting your own skills. The A-Team Ed Sheeran Many people who hear The A-Team by Ed Sheeran think that it's a soulful and upbeat song, but that couldn't be further from the truth. It's actually inspired by the time that Ed Sheeran had spent at a homeless shelter when he was playing a gig at 18 years old. During this time, he was inspired by the lives and stories of the people he met who relied on the shelter for safety. Let's just say that when he sings about breathing in snowflakes, he isn't talking about winter weather. When he visited the shelter, Sharon admits that he was naive at the time and found the lives of the people staying there to be quite shocking and memorable. As soon as he returned home, he immediately began working on the lyrics. The upbeat rhythm of the song was a purposeful choice because the subject matter is so dark. In particular, Sheeran is singing about a woman he met named Angel, which is why he includes the line about angels to fly. In fact, the song is called The A-Team because Angel was using drugs classified as Class A substances. It was a subtle way of talking about a serious subject.